Okay, hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do what we showed in the preview, which is making a flow edit out of, or at least a flow kind of style, out of flow frames. So I selected these flow frames that I've created. Um, I'm going to mute the audio because I don't want any copyright or anything. Um, I don't want any anything risking my channel getting removed again. So this is just what it looks like on its own. It's just very fast, nothing. This first star I'm gonna use as an intro, so I'm just gonna stretch it, and there's obviously more clips um, there, so we're gonna have to... You have to get all your clips in place. As you can see, these aren't on the beat at all of where I've marked it, so I'm just gonna turn on this icon down here and stretch... Nope, not that. Stretch everything I need to where it needs to be. But I don't want my frame, like, because it's frame, I'm going to use frame twixter, and that uses up the, f the amount of frames in the clip, and I want the end of my clip to end at this point. So I'm going to create a new track and put the next clip I want above it, so I can keep using the f amount of frames in that clip, because if I did it up to this point, I wouldn't be able to use the frame I wanted, so I want to keep it back to where I want it, there we go. And I'm going to use... Oh, that was a mistake. One, two, I'm going to use two and then two beats, so I'm going to keep that in, maybe like that, yeah, I'm going to keep like that, like that. And because it's gone over the beat I have to create another new track. So it's very particular on where you might want things. Uh, this starts way too much. Yeah, there we go. And yeah. See, you can see this one goes over the beat here like very quickly. So again, new track. You end up getting used to the whole new track thing. This one doesn't go over the beat. I don't know if I'm going to be... What I might do here is actually fade in this second clip onto this bottom clip here. So I'm going to start it from the middle, so it's in between, and then stretch it out to the end frame. Don't worry about it going onto another clip. We'll be sorting that, and then we're going to start the next scene, which is this one. And... Again, it goes over the beat, so we have to stretch this one above, and then I'm going to stretch this all the way at the end so I can fade it out. So right now, if we take a look at it, with all the stretching and stuff, it's going to look kind of ridiculous, so I'm going to lower the quality. So if we just preview it, it's just a bunch of random clips. Like, it doesn't make sense because of all the extra stuff that's been added. But now we're going to frame Twixter it, so we go to Twixter. You can either use the graph or you don't have to, because sometimes the graph doesn't... You can't control it as much as you want to with the graph. So we go to Frame Twixter, make sure the Twixter timery map is frame number, and you don't need to mess with the speed. Make sure it's best, contrast, edge, enhance, motion way to blend, inverse, and that these are like this as well. So you have to save that as a preset. Now this frame section, it goes to the number of frame in that clip, so if you want to go to the 14th frame, that ends up cutting to the next clip. So the end of the clip here is the 13th frame. So I want the 13th frame, and I'm going to put it all the way at the end. And then we're going to go to the first frame, which is this one, and it goes like this. So instead of animating the actual speed of the clip, it animates the frames. And I want to... I want it to start speeding up at the end here, so when it goes out, and then the moment it's a moment his arm starts moving towards this direction is where I'm gonna get the keyframe. It's here. So frame 10? Yes. So I'm just gonna move this back a bit more and I'm gonna put it as a slow fade because this is a really long clip and I just wanna use it as an intro. And if it if it glitches like this, all you have to do is put the frame to a whole number 
I'm gonna put this as 12. And here. 13. So some bits might warp. Um, it's kind of hard to control. Like this scene, I probably could have just used a uh, normal clip with velocity. But this is what it looks like with the just normal flow thing. Not much. I didn't time remap it much just because it's the intro. But this is where we're going to time remap. So we're going to find the end of the scene. So 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. I'll go to 11. Drag that to the end. Now there's kind of... No, I'm not going to say the second way. I was going to say there's two ways to do this, but the second way isn't really that efficient. Okay, so... Seven. Okay, she starts going forward on seven, so I'm going to keep it at six. Put six around here. Probably set this to a fast fade. Now it's going to warp quite a bit, so to again, to prevent it, just go to a whole, whole number frame. there, so it goes. I might put six in the front a bit more. Yep, change this to seven. Nine. See how that looks. That looks fine. Okay, now the next one. Now, because this is underneath the clip, again, find the end point I want. That's weird. If it ends up going blue at the point you want, just drag it one more frame across at the bottom here. Now, I want it to end right here where the beat mark is so I'm going to drag it here and it's not going to move at any point because I've set the frame on the clip to the tenth frame which is why here I'm going to set it to zero and he starts moving towards the camera here at frame five let's take the frame number here I'm going to stick it one more frame forward it's a very short clip seven Nine. Set this to frame fast fade. Some warps here. Some warps are going to be quite annoying. Right, look at all of it. Okay, that's looking good so far. Now this one, um, same process, but we're going to go all the way to the end. It's a bigger clip, so it's going to have more frames. 20, 23, 24, 25. Okay, that's where I wanted to end. I'm gonna put it over this marker here. And now there's more. So zero, there's a lot more to work with here. And I have my marked beats here. So in the middle of this one, I want it to end when he's on the left. Yes, when he's on the left. So I'm first going to go to this for the marker in the middle that I have and just find the midpoint uh, where he's being attacked. Uh, 15, 13, which is around here I believe. 14, 13, 12. It can be 12 or 13, just where he's getting attacked so it will change on beat. And now I need it to be where he's moving his head to the right. 
which is 7, so I'm going to put this to 6. Slow frame and then fast fade. And then... Okay, frame 24 is where he's getting hit. I'm, I did the frame number wrong, that was my fault. Um, okay, 21, 22, 23, Yeah, no, okay, so we're gonna do it to where the sword appears. Where does he move left? I think 22. Yeah, we're gonna move this to 20. And that's gonna glitch, okay. Is there anything at 25? Yes, there is. Then I'm gonna set this to slow fade. Okay, he moves quite quickly, so I'm gonna drag this one across a bit more to slow him down a bit. Okay. And this one I'm fading it in. But first I might mute the top clip so I can see this one a bit more. And this one I'm only gonna slow down because I'm not trying to get to the bit where he takes off. So yeah, I'm gonna ignore this bit. Eight. I'm just gonna drag it to the end. This bit I am gonna graph, but very lightly because they're very small values. You don't need a high graph. So something like that. And then we're gonna fade in this clip. I might unfade it just so I can see it a bit more. And then this one I'm going to low. So six. 10, 11, okay, 10. Okay, so he grabs his sword. And he starts moving towards the camera here. Okay, 6, 7. Looks good, so we fade this in. Okay, next clip. This one has a lot of fast movements. I'm gonna be careful with this one. Nine, 10, 12, 14, 15. 18, okay, too much, 16, 15, okay, 15 it is, so put it over here by the marker, zero, no, I need it where he starts, there we go, right there, so that's 12, 11, Okay, yeah, it is 12, 13, we we'll put 13 in between, so sometimes when it warps like this and you only have like two points here, I'm just going to go right in the middle, kind of like glitching it so it doesn't uh, warp as much as um, it was. This bit, uh, I'm just going to cut to frame 7.
Okay, it's moving too slow for me, so I might just do it like this. That's okay. And then this one I'm just gonna do slowly like I did with that clip there. So Actually I might twixter this like I've shown in the frame twixter. Which is just a graph, which is like this. Right, now we're gonna render this, pre-render this. That was a... Right. So you notice here it kind of, because I faded it out, it appeared. So what I'm gonna do is go to insert, make sure you have the track selected, go to track composite level, and just set it all the way down. It's similar to the velocity. Just set it all the way down, there we go. And that is how you twix the flow frames for a flow style. Um, you do not do it with every single clip. Um, I will be making one where you use clips with velocity because some clips have so much movement um, that you just can't twix the, or you uh, prefer it to have more of a rough movement and fast movement than this kind of style here because there's loads of different styles but anyway i hope this helped and um thank you for supporting me